figuring out the nuts and bolts of using patterns to express certain musical ideas can sometimes be tricky. As an example, let's consider the following sequence that plays four random low notes followed by four random high notes, again and again indefinitely. And let's imagine we want the number of low notes to be different every time this px rand is embedded, like instead of always four, a random integer between two and five. And feel free to pause here and see if you can figure out a way to do this. And there are multiple solutions, which is like, welcome to patterns. But for this video, there's a specific sort of solution I want to focus on. You might be tempted to use rrand, which seems reasonable at first, but it won't work, or at least it won't work correctly. The number of low notes will be random, but it'll be the same random number every time we roll back around to this first px rand. So in that case, we happened to roll a 2, and so that value gets baked into this p-bind, and we are stuck with it. So one option that does work here is to enclose the random expression in curly braces so that it becomes a function. And by doing so, in a sense, we're deferring the evaluation of this code until the stream that plays this p-bind actually needs to know what that value is, at which point it'll evaluate the function and obtain a new random number each time. So that's one solution to this problem, and it works perfectly well in cases where the algorithm can be expressed using one or more language methods, like rrand, xbrand, array.choose, etc. But what if we want something more complex than just pick a random number? For example, let's say we want one low note followed by four high notes, then two low notes followed by four high, then three, then four, then four, then four, etc. Just adding a new low note each time. And you might very reasonably think to yourself, aha, I know the perfect pattern for this. And you go and grab a p-series that starts at one, uh, adds one each time, and goes on forever. But this does not work. Uh, it's just stuck on the low notes somehow. Uh, the reason this doesn't work is related to one of the most central ideas of patterns, and that is the distinction between a pattern and a stream. A pattern, like this one here, defines some sequence, but it is not the sequence itself. Instead, a pattern is a recipe or a blueprint for that sequence. And if all we have is a pattern, then there is no way for us to actually get the output <laughs> directly from the pattern. And that's why this p-series doesn't work here. p-x-rand needs a number of repeats, and p-series is not a number. A stream, on the other hand, is a tangible execution of some pattern, and that's what we need. A thing that actually says, here's the next number, here's the next number, here's the next number. So we can convert a pattern to a stream using as stream. I know it says routine here. Technically, routine is a type of stream. And then we can call value uh, or next on the result, and we actually get the values. OK, so back to our p-bind. The solution here is to use a stream derived from a pattern to control the number of repeats of px rand. And there you go. Something important to keep in mind uh, is that the event stream q is independent from the p series stream reps. Uh, if we stop the event stream player, and even if you also reset the event stream player, doing so does not also reset reps. So uh, in a sense, that internal stream remembers where it left off and will continue from there if we restart the event stream player. If you want to reset everything, then the internal stream uh, needs its own reset message, or even easier, just create the entire thing and start over. Uh, this can be a nice trick to keep in the back pocket and easy to overlook opportunities to take advantage of pattern stream subtleties in situations like this. In some cases, it can drastically simplify pattern expression of musical ideas, and it's something that I did not really get the hang of until fairly late uh, into my own Super Collider journey. So, special thanks to my patrons uh, for supporting these tutorials, and also for all the lively conversations that have been happening on Patreon lately about new tutorial ideas. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And to everyone, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.